iOS 13 and iPadOS are still in beta at the time of making this video and are scheduled to be released in the fall. Part of that update will include an all new Reminders app. Reminders got one of the biggest app updates in iOS 13. And since it's a system app, it can do stuff third party apps can't. I've been using it as my go-to task manager for a couple of months now and I found it to be really interesting. The previous version of Reminders had so much missing from it, I wouldn't even call it a basic task manager. With iOS 13, it got a complete rewrite. It's a whole new app now, with UI changes to make it feel like a serious task management app. Now Reminders has a list interface on the left hand side. You can create as many projects as you want. I've mentioned in the past how I use emoji to make projects stand out. When you create a new project now, not only does it ask for a name and a color, but you can also assign it a symbol. This uses the new SF symbol feature in iOS 13. I like these symbols. They're different from what I've used before, that being emojis. My only complaint is there isn't enough of them. They're very general. Trying to find one that fit video projects was a bit difficult. After you create the project, you can remove it anywhere by dragging and dropping it. They aren't stuck in alphabetical order. So if you want an inbox project to be at the top, you can move it to the top. By hitting edit, you can create groups for projects. I have three, life, the untitled site, and a slab of glass. This covers pretty much everything I do except my day job. We have a separate system for that. Just drag and drop a project on top of the group to add it. Hitting the arrow next to the group will collapse it. This is handy for hiding stuff you don't want to see at the time. At the top, there are four smart lists. I would say the biggest knock against the new reminders app is these aren't customizable and you can't create more. The new reminders ones are pretty basic. Today shows what's due today. Scheduled shows all the scheduled tasks. All shows, guess what, all the tasks. And finally, flag shows all the flag tasks. Everyone uses flags a bit differently. I use them for tasks that don't have a due date but are important. These are tasks I don't want to get buried in some project. Usually I only have a couple of these here. And I'll assign them as I do a review of my tasks. Since this is a complete rewrite of the app, I can understand why there isn't some sort of smart list or filter feature. Hopefully Apple continues to update the app and adds this feature in the future. Apple did add basic natural language support. So when I'm creating a task, I can type tomorrow 8 a.m. It will then suggest a reminder date. Tap on that and it'll create a due date for that task. I wish this natural language feature supported projects and locations as well. But on the quick action bar, there are a few other features to cover that. The clock icon suggests due dates, uh, some general times and dates. The location icon gives the ability to pick home, work, and getting in the car. Also, you can set a custom location. This will send a push notification about that task when you get to that location. The flag will flag the task. And the camera will give you the option to take a photo, open the photos library, or scan a document. This will then attach that file to the task. I would love to see the ability to browse the files app and select a document from there. When creating a task, you can hit the information icon to get a menu of more actions. This includes adding notes, URL, priority, and subtask. I really dislike the way subtasks are implemented in Reminders. They essentially act like their own task. So if the main task is due today, but if the subtask has no due date, it won't show up with the main task in the today view. Each subtask must be assigned its own due date. I feel this is a mistake that will cause a lot of people not to use this feature. They'll just forget subtasks were even a part of the main task. On the positive side though, there is another new feature that is pretty cool. The ability to get a push notification when messaging somebody. This has been a great addition. When I think of something I need to talk to someone about but can't talk to them right now for whatever reason, I just create a reminder and add them to it. So the next time I message them, I get a push notification reminding me to talk to them about whatever that was. Another interesting way of adding tasks to reminders is now you can drag and drop or use the share sheet to send content to reminders. For example, take an Apple note and drop it into reminders. This will create a new task from the title of the note and then the notes icon will appear next to it. You can then tap on the notes icon to jump to that note. 
Safari is an interesting app to use with this as well. When you drop a Safari page in, it'll show a preview of that page. You can tap on that preview to go straight to it. This is great for making shopping lists, reading lists, or any kind of list that includes some sort of web page associated with it. Play around with all the different apps and see what you can do with them. I do believe third-party apps will need to be updated to support this feature. One of the biggest draws of using reminders for an iOS power user in the past has been Siri and shortcut support. As far as I'm aware, it's the only app that can not only add reminders, but pull reminders content as well. For example, not only can I make a shortcut to add tasks, but I can make a shortcut that also pulls all the tasks that are due today and that are also overdue. But even with the new updates to shortcuts in iOS 13, it doesn't appear the reminders actions have gotten any updates. This means you can't use shortcuts to create subtasks or use the messaging feature. Hopefully that's on the list to get updated in the future. In the settings app, if you go to reminders, check out the today notification and set the time to whatever you want. I'm a morning person, so I set mine to 6 a.m. This will send me a notification showing how many tasks are due that day. If you tap on the notification, it'll take you to the today view. When I sit down in the morning, this is the first thing I tap on so I can see what I need to do for that day. For me, reminders getting the job done. It's reminded me about something that needs to be accomplished at a specific time, and that's the bare minimum to pass as a task manager for me. I'm very happy that the card design is gone, and it's much more of a modern task manager now. It feels hooked into the system a lot more with the ability to add stuff from other apps and link back to them. For some reason, I feel it's okay to have a lot of different projects and reminders. When I've used other task managers in the past, like things, I always try to have as few as possible. Maybe this is reminders, maybe I just changed. Reminders definitely has some advantages for being a system app. It has better Siri and shortcut integration and can do things like the messaging feature. Once the beta cycle is over, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it or go back to the third-party apps yet. I just really hope it keeps getting updates. This feels like a fresh start for Reminders, a version 1. Though it's missing some features I would like to see, I still think it's a great task manager for people that are needing an app to track just tasks throughout their day. If you're somebody that's using an app like OmniFocus or Things, this app probably isn't for you. There's too many pro features those apps have that Reminders just doesn't cater to. And that's okay, not every app has to be that way. If you're watching this and have never used a task manager before or you don't need some feature like custom filters, the new Reminders app is a great place to start. It'll be out with iOS 13 and iPadOS in the fall. Thank you for watching and have a great day.